the number one is what's key. Another reaction video for the Michigan police officer charged with murder. That is Christopher Schur and the victim, Patrick Laoya. Shot in the back of the head while face down with a knee in his back and another hand bracing his head. Execution style. Stinks of white supremacy, white supremacist tactics. But here's what's really going on with this case. The prosecutor has charged race soldier Schur with one count of second degree murder. One count. Which smells of the fix. That could be in because we know how these prosecutors collude sometimes with these murderers, as we saw down in Georgia with the Ahmaud Arbery case and that prosecutor down there now being charged with a crime, a very weak crime, but nonetheless a crime. Hit that thumbs up. So people do a lot less and get charged with many more charges than this officer that create that. We saw on video commit a very heinous act by shooting an unarmed man who was face down on the ground with a knee in his back and another hand bracing his head in the back of the head. Hit that thumbs up. The back of the head is what's key and the face down and the knee in the back. But yet only one count of murder. This says to me that this prosecutor really wants to see this race soldier walk. At the same time, the term race soldier could be extended to those that prosecute, to these dime a dozen lawyers that prosecute, hit that thumbs up. These types of things make you sick to your stomach. There could have been a second degree murder, there could have been manslaughter. Amongst a host of what other, of what ever other charges that they would hit any poor, impoverished black American in Grand Rapids or any college graduated black American in Grand Rapids or any millionaire black American or immigrant apparently in Grand Rapids since Mr. Patrick Leoya was a Congolese immigrant. Hit that thumbs up. So watch for the curveball, watch for the sinker, watch for the slider from these slick, stinky white supremacists. This is how they do. Leave your comments in the box. Should he have been charged with four or five counts like they would have done Jerome the dope dealer? <laughs> Discharging a firearm within city limits? Assault, attempted murder, attempted manslaughter, manslaughter, attempted first degree murder, first degree murder, felonious assault, whatever the equivalent is. They could have come up with more than one charge here. And I understand that this is a police officer, so many things will protect him. He can discharge, he can discharge his firearm apparently however and whenever he feels like it. So they have a way of stepping in between justice when it comes to black victims. But that's also what's known as the system of white supremacy. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up.